Okay guys, we arrived in Roncevalles and we're heading off this morning and I have to say, this is a beautiful place. Everything was 10 out of 10. Rooms were beautifully lovely and warm. Breakfast was fabulous. Dinner was fabulous. Can't recommend this place enough. Um, yesterday was a really, really hard old day. Um, I think it was 26.2K. But this morning, we're not, we're not too bad. There's only a couple of aches and pains. So we have another 20, 22K today. Some of that is uphill and mostly downhill, hopefully. Um, okay, I'll try and get an aerial view of this place for you, just to let you know what it's like. But it's absolutely fabulous. And the good thing about this is, when you actually finish the walk, it's actually right in front of you, which is brilliant. All right, guys, catch us later. Bye, bye, bye. Santiago de Compostilla, 790 kilometers. Outside uh, Ron Savoyas, and we're actually going through the forest of the witches. This is where they used to burn people at the stake. First small little town that we've come to. I have to come and ask, only about one kilometre down the road, but if you're looking to get coffee or head to the supermarket. This is the place. Ernest Hemingway stayed here, brought one or two books, and then moved on like we are. Alright guys, catch us later. Come halfway through uh, Burgett and then you swing right and off, you come down this way and then across the bridge. <laughs> okay guys, there's where we were yesterday. We walked from the bottom of that forest up to the top where that mast is and across and in here. Oh my god. Anyway, onwards and upwards, is that what they say? Let's go, go, go. Alright. You catch them. <laughs> okay, guys, just a small little town called Espinal. So we're just going to stop here for a coffee and get the passport stamped and it's a nice little town I have to say okay I think it's time for a, a coffee just left the town and in fairness there's a bit of a, a hill there on the way up but you could actually call that but we could actually uh, take this scenery all day. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what I might do is I might just capture what we're coming into the major towns. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye bye. So far uh, from our last town, it was a lovely gentle walk, one or two small hills but nothing to worry about there. Um, and then it's all woodlands all the way down, a nice pleasure walk as if you're just walking through a forest. So uh, I'm just going to stop here for a few minutes and then once you go down, you definitely always have to go back up, don't you? Okay, so we'll report on that later. Bye bye bye. Don't fall in now. Perfect now. That was a bit rocky. 
The one in the middle is a bit rocky. Tired. Okay, guys. After leaving the last town, uh, it was handy enough. We just cross the roadway, and then you have a bit of a hill, but it does level out, and then you come to a bigger incline, which is more rocky, uh, stonier, a little bit hard on the feet. Probably boots here would do you. Uh, I'd say we're about three quarters of the way up and uh, definitely not too bad at the minute uh, other than that, see you later you made it good well done bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> what? what happened? oh no blisters ok so starting to rain now ok guys we're 17k into this trip uh, we've another 5k and the rain is starting to come down so we're just changing gear now catch us later ok we haven't got too far left uh, probably about 4k uh, the winds are starting to pick up uh, this would be a nice spot here for a cup of tea if he was in, <laughs> but he's not in. But still some beautiful scenery here. Okay, probably roughly around 2k from our location and uh, it's fairly uh, rocky most most of it most of it is certainly rocks and all that so I would probably advise uh, boots for this part because it might give your ankles a bit more support just in case you twist anything all right guys catch you later It, we made it to Zubiri 23k all the way to Zubiri
How's it going, guys? Yay! Zubiri! We're here. <laughs> okay, guys, this is our hacienda for tonight. Uh, just in case anybody ever gets the hotel, it's actually just outside the town. You come over the bridge and swing a right and just walk till you see it.